All right, it's uh, Tuesday, December 27th, 2022. I came over here yesterday on the 26th and uh, put in three sets. This is a property we, we usually trap late season. We get up to a little closer. You'll, if you've followed us over the years, you'll recognize this opening on this lane. And I can see we already have a catch. Like I said, it's just on this lane. This lane runs edge of this woods in this field. Fields out there, a railroad track up there. And it's just this overgrown on each side of this lane. Predators will run these. We've got a pretty little red fox. Get a little closer. Let you get a look at it. I come over here yesterday, there was no coyote tracks, no fox tracks, no nothing. I smell him already. I'll be dang back foot catch. I hear you. Pretty little fox. Now, a couple years ago, I caught a fox right here in uh, the same location. And over the years, we've taken a few coyotes out of here. Here's my other set. Nothing messed with it. You can see the tracks, mainly all the only tracks I seen yesterday with deer tracks, not one predator track, so. Looks like a little male. Alrighty, I'm gonna check the landowner, see if he wants me to take it or let it go, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, just got that fox dispatched. Landowner wanted me to take him, so I'm gonna rebed this trap. Whole place smells like red fox and with that being a back foot catch he has a wider catch circle torn up so i've uh took some of the dirt rubbed the jaws cleaned them up i'll put a little dry peat moss in the bed and then i'm gonna take this split ring just hammer it in the ground that way it's out of the way and then I'm just gonna get this trap back down in here get that snow out of here all right now I'm just gonna take some of this pillow stuff in here shove under the pan and now we're just gonna work some peat moss in here to get this trap bedded solid remakes are easy the hard part was getting all these sets in yesterday we've had well, everyone in this country, I think, has had that brutal cold. It got down to negative 8 here on Friday morning with the 35 below wind chill. We're just going to push that peat moss around the jaws, around the levers, and make sure that trap is bedded solid. So that way the next animal comes in here and investigates. They can move all over this trap and it not move. All right, my pan's there. I'm gonna put my dirt hole off center. Just take this driver and I just waller it out. get 
some of this crap out of here. Alright. Now we're just going to get our sifter. And get the trap covered. Like I said, we're on a warming trend now. It was 19 when I come out and set these yesterday morning. Right now it's 23. Tomorrow we're supposed to be in the 40s. It's supposed to be in the mid 50s by this weekend with rain. So we'll get some raccoon traps out then. Right now I'm just trying to get the predator line established, but. There's that. Get my lure bag. Gonna re bait this again with some SK mice meat from Webster's Predator Control is what I had in here. My lure I had insidious. I had this and insidious from Southern Snares. This SK mice meat, just ground up mice meat with skunky smell. Caught a lot of predators on it. Get a Q-tip out. Get my bottle. Out my bag. Not wanting to work with me. Insidious. So what's going back down the hole. And we are set for tomorrow. I said there's plenty of smell here, but I'm still gonna put a shot of coyote urine up there. All right, a couple more things I wanna do. Move this dirt right there Just stick there let's let you get a look at the finished set and that is it I'm not even putting any salt on it it's only gonna get down to I want to say 26 tonight and then we don't have to worry about freezing for next few weeks we just have to be fighting rain this weekend so but small dirt hole set first night catch with a red fox so got a few more to go check and i've got a few more to get put out so thank you all for watching we'll see you in the next video